We're in the gospel music today on the road studio with Susan Peck Jackson and Karen Peck of Karen Peck and New River. We want to welcome you both to gospel music today. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We're always ha happy to be on your show, that's for sure. Well, it's always good to see you. You brighten the show up. <laughs> Thank you. We have a lot of history, don't we? <laughs> we right. do have a lot Lots of history. Lots of history. <laughs> it's, it's been... I remember in Tulsa, you would set up your, uh, your rig and we would do interviews in Tulsa and everywhere you can think of. We loved those uh, shows in Tulsa. Oh, we did. Those we missed were, them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Those were really Good great. And then the and National Quartet Convention in Louisville. Oh, yeah. We were sitting there, you know. That, we got you tickled. That, yeah. <laughs> you remember that? We got so tickled. Well, I still, uh, <laughs> you're talking about the one with Ray Dean Reed? Yes, yes, Ray Dean came. That's on YouTube <laughs> and, uh, and it's on our Facebook page, of course. <laughs> And that will recycle every so often. We've got like a Conrad Cook video that every eight months somebody finds it and then they share it with everybody yeah. else. And yeah. that's that's one of them with the uh, Ray that's Dean good. and the Reese Cups. Yes, yes that's good. good. That was it. We did uh, Beautiful Home. That's right. Oh, that was fun. Lots of great memories. Yeah. Yeah. We want to talk about the new CD, but of course with uh, Karen Peck and New River, we go back a little ways and... Uh, Let's go back to the beginning of Karen Peck and New River. What was that group when it started? Well, we started in January of 1991. So we had a live band, because you know back then you didn't sing with tracks. Yeah. Uh, Danny Crawford was our piano player, and the, actually the one that named us, named New River. And uh, so, so we, we, and just a bunch of great guys. And a lot of the band members stayed with us for 10 years and until when they started breaking off and wanted to do other things and that's when we decided to go with tracks and actually it was about was it 2000 or 2001 yeah, maybe 2000 and yeah. uh, so it's um so we we had a great start we had such loyal guys that traveled with us and they were just faithful and a lot of you're talking about memories we have a lot of great memories and still to this day, we consider them our brothers. Mm -hmm. they, and for the most part, we, we stay in touch for the most part, And uh, but it's one of these things to where when we don't see them and then we get together or we see them, we just pick right back up where yeah. we left off. Yeah. So they're such a part of the, really the foundation of New River, don't you think, That's Susan? true, yes. And we've had some great people come through here, we great have. guys. Yeah. We really have. Mm -hmm. you've, had, you've had some really great people since it's been the current Karen Peck and New River. Uh, we, yes. I feel like that we've got such a great team right now and mm. honestly with uh, our kids, uh, my kids Carrie and Matthew and we have Grant Gibson with us and they just all get along so well but we love the fact that they're bringing uh, you know uh, youthfulness <laughs> not yeah. Susan and I are getting younger, <laughs> younger every, day. every day. We just <laughs> want to go ahead and clear that up but they do bring a lot to the table and they have a lot of great ideas and I think Susan and I have really learned to delegate and we're doing that a lot better yeah. I think and, yeah, I think so. and they're, the guys are standing off to the side going, really? <laughs> but, no, but, but really, they, but seriously, they, they bring a lot to the table. And I feel like that we probably have the best team that we've ever had. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah we've got a great team. It just works. Everything works. And they, they, they're hard workers. They do their jobs. And, and, um, and it's, just, it's just a blessing to have them here. That they do their awesome. job with a smile. Yeah, they really yeah, they do. They don't complain or, mm -hmm. or yeah. just, you know, just get down and out it's just like it's just they're they're happy to be here yeah, Grant i love that <laughs> yeah, Grant. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll uh, let them they'll share yeah, their hearts yeah. and they may tell you something totally different but i think we're right well you know all but, that time on the bus you know the, the we've been told before that the the real job is the travel yeah. and the fun is when you get on, well, get on stage well, and uh, if you were with people that didn't really want to do it you you'd be in trouble. Yeah. Very yeah. seldom have we had anyone that didn't want to do it, but one thing that we have discovered is that one person not wanting to do it can really mess the whole the whole unit up because oh, yeah. everybody has 
to pull their weight. And the thing that we love about this group of people, of course my kids, they were born and raised on the road, literally, but they lived my calling and, uh, and their dads, but now God's called them. And I love what they're bringing to the table. I love their ideas and their relationship with Christ. It's wonderful to watch. And then of course, Grant. Grant has been in the industry for a while and he loves the music. And so, uh, so it is a lot of, of being able to have that great rapport when you're on the bus and off the road. But then when we're on that stage, it's so important that we're all in one mind, in one spirit and in one accord. And, and that's really how the Lord gets the job done through us as a unit. Mm -hmm. Susan, you were in the original group. Yes. Was that uh, when you were growing up, when you were a kid, was that something you really wanted to do? <laughs> no. <laughs> I knew no. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not want to sing. I mean, Karen has been singing. I think Karen, when she was born, she was singing. But I never really wanted to do that, you know. I just wanted to, to have my own, uh, comp, my business. And, and so we had a girls trio, and I would quit every Monday. <laughs> you know, I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. No, I'm not doing it. But then when she came off the road with, you know, she was with the Neylands for 10 years and she came off the road, it's like the Lord just turned my heart around and changed it to where that, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And this is God's call on my life. So, you know, and I'm so proud and I'm so blessed to be able to travel with my sister for 31 years. Wow, and honestly, Susan, you've never wavered. She's never wavered once she really surrendered that call because she had a trucking business and <laughs> and she was doing really well with that and when she said you know what I want to travel it was such a happy day mm -hmm. and plus our parents they were so happy to see us singing together again because we sang together as a little girls trio called the joyful trio growing up mm -hmm. and so it was really a blessing to be able to get back together and I, I'm so thankful that our dad before he passed away was able to see us together as New River. Oh that's great. Karen, former president of the uh, SGMA, and we had a big SGMA event mm -hmm. today in Pigeon yes. Forge. That must have been exciting for you. Today was a very big day for Southern Gospel Music, and it was his, history in the making. That's why I wanted our kids, I want, we wanted the, that Gran and the kids, um, we wanted them to be there to experience that because that was a, a major, major uh, taking on, um, trying to find a place uh, a home actually for SGMA after Dollywood is no longer for, uh, you know, they, they had a building for the SGMA for many, many years. Yeah. And uh, so they decided they want to expand the park and and just kind of told us that we needed to move on into somewhere else. And we started praying about it and it took months to figure out where we were going, plus we went down for the pandemic. So that yeah. put everything on halt. Then we had all of these artifacts and all of these things that we have had to figure out, what are we gonna do with all this stuff? And it's just a, a shame that we have the, a replica of the Blackwood Brothers bus inside the Hall of Fame there in Dollywood. What are we gonna do with the bus? <laughs> and so to make a long story short, um, the SGMA was really in dire straits. We, we didn't know if it was gonna survive. And Arthur Rice came on board as the president and he started shifting things around. The Lord began to use Arthur Rice. And um, honestly, we pulled together, as, as we were talking about a unit, we pulled together as a unit. Tammy Rice, Arthur's wife, came on board and she is a, a godsend to SGMA. And we are now at the Biblical Times Theater, which is a beautiful place and they have shows and they have a dinner and it's a, a wonderful Christian place and they have something every single day and they open their doors for the SGMA to come in and put our artifacts in there and they did a lot of work mm -hmm. in the Biblical Times Theater and you saw today it was just beautiful and stunning. So today was the ribbon cutting and uh, and the official opening of the SGMA at the Biblical Times right there in Pigeon Forge. So it was a great, a great day, a great moment, and just, um, as I say, history in the making. I think we're going to see a lot of great things coming out of SGMA in the next few years. Mm -hmm. Lots of room for growth still, too. A lot too. of room. That's, That's awesome. what we love about it. Yeah. And we've got a lot of young people that are coming in on the, the advisory boards and just a lot of interest there. And all of a sudden, the Lord began to, to, to just turn everything around for the SGMA. And now we have so many people wanting to come in to be members.
members and um, so it's a blessing. And see, we don't have corporate sponsors, so we have to depend on the, the people sending donations and so that's that was a challenge but people are beginning to get on board with us and it's just a blessing that is to be a great. part of it who's on stage now with karen peck and new river <laughs> well of course susan and i are on stage and then um we have grant gibson and my daughter carrie and then my son matthew plays guitar okay and, and then my husband ricky he runs the sound well, a great lineup, and uh, we always enjoy seeing the group. We are very glad that we could have you on Gospel Music today. Thank you. Thank it's you. always a joy. Thank you.